one of the most gruesome true crime events that occurred on Thanksgiving involved Joel Guy Jr., who brutally murdered his parents, Joel Sr. and Lisa Guy, in 2016 in Knoxville, Tennessee. After spending Thanksgiving with his family, Joel Jr. committed the horrifying act of dismembering his parents' bodies. He killed his father in their upstairs exercise room and ambushed his mother upon her return from shopping. The extent of the brutality was chilling. He stabbed his father 42 times, severing his limbs and decapitating him. His mother was stabbed 31 times, with her limbs also dismembered. Shockingly, Joel Jr. attempted to dissolve some of their remains and boiled his mother's head in a pot. In the quiet suburbs of Knoxville, Tennessee, a heinous crime unfolded over the Thanksgiving weekend of 2016. Joel Guy Jr., a 28-year-old man, was at the center of what would soon be revealed as one of the most gruesome murder cases in recent history. Thanksgiving, a time typically reserved for family gatherings and expressions of gratitude, turned tragic for the Guy family. Joel Guy Sr. and his wife, Lisa, welcomed their son, Joel Jr., into their home for the holiday, unaware of the horror that was to unfold. The family, seemingly normal by all accounts, spent the holiday together before Joel Jr. returned to his home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, up for work following the holiday weekend. Concerned colleagues prompted a welfare check at the guy residence. What law enforcement officers discovered upon entering the home was a scene of unimaginable brutality. Joel Guy Jr. had not only murdered his parents, but had also dismembered their bodies in an attempt to cover up his crime. The details that emerged were horrifying and hard to comprehend. Joel Sr. was found with multiple stab wounds, 42 in total, and his body had been mutilated post-mortem. Limbs were severed, and the extent of the dismemberment was chilling. The savagery did not end there. Joel Jr. ambushed his mother upon her return from shopping, inflicting upon her a similar fate as his father. She was stabbed 31 times, with her body also dismembered. The brutality of the attacks indicated a deep-seated rage and a complete disregard for human life. The investigation revealed even more shocking details. Joel Jr. had attempted to dissolve some of the remains in chemicals. Most horrifyingly, he boiled his mother's head in a pot, an act that demonstrated the extent of his detachment from the gravity of his actions. As investigators delved deeper into the case, the question of motive became central. What could drive a son to commit such atrocious acts against his own parents? The answer, as it often is in such cases, was complex and multilayered, involving financial issues and deep-seated psychological factors. The community reeled from the brutality of the murders. Friends, neighbors, and colleagues struggled to reconcile the image of the family they knew with the gruesome reality of the crime. The case not only shocked the local community but also captured national attention, raising questions about family dynamics, mental health, and the capacity for human brutality. As we look into this chilling case, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What are your reactions to this unbelievable tragedy? Please share your comments below and don't forget to like the video to help spread awareness about this case. The investigation into the double homicide of Joel Guy Sr. and Lisa Guy took a decisive turn when evidence pointed towards their son, Joel Guy Jr. Forensic analysis played a crucial role in piecing together the sequence of events. DNA evidence, along with receipts for chemicals and other materials used in the crime, led to Joel Jr.'s arrest in Baton Rouge. Joel Guy Jr.'s trial was as sensational as the crime itself. Prosecutors presented a case built on overwhelming physical evidence and a detailed reconstruction of the crime. The defense, on the other hand, attempted to cast doubt on the prosecution's narrative, suggesting alternative explanations for the evidence. Witness testimonies and forensic experts provided a detailed and disturbing account of the crime. The jury was subjected to graphic descriptions of the murder scene and the methods used to dismember and attempt to dispose of the bodies. The prosecution argued that the extreme nature of the crime indicated a premeditated and calculated plan. The financial angle emerged as a significant motive in the case. Evidence suggested that Joel Jr. was motivated by potential inheritance as his parents were planning to cut him off financially. 
this revelation painted a picture of a calculated murder driven by greed and desperation. After a trial that gripped the nation, Joel Guy Jr. was found guilty of the murders of his parents. The jury, after considering the gruesome nature of the crime and the evidence presented, delivered a swift verdict. Joel Guy Jr. received a sentence reflective of the heinous nature of his crimes. The judge, in delivering the sentence, remarked on the brutal and premeditated nature of the murders, underscoring the gravity of the offense. The case left a lasting impact on the Knoxville community and beyond. It raised discussions about mental health, familial relations, and the warning signs of potential violence within families. The community grappled with the realization that such brutality could manifest in what seemed like a normal family. The Guy family murders stand as a stark reminder of the depths of human depravity. It challenges our understanding of family dynamics and the hidden turmoil that can exist behind closed doors. The case continues to be studied by criminologists and psychologists seeking to understand the mind of a murderer and the triggers that can lead to such extreme violence. If you're interested in staying updated with more true crime stories and deep investigations like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Your support helps us bring these important stories to light. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching and for your continued support.